So I was uh, was brought to my attention. I don't know how it's, you know how the internet goes. I was on the phone doing whatever have you, and I caught this thing about Danny Glover going to Honduras with uh, an activist and um, and Cedric the Entertainer and, and, uh, um, to um, be at the I guess the inauguration of a mayor in one of the towns of Honduras. Now uh, that's the Honduran flag. Okay, I'll explain. Go, maybe I'll, why I have the Honduran flag up there doesn't do well, has to do with what I call my lineage, or the lineage that I think I have, let's put it that way. So anyway, uh, now the important thing about this is that uh, Honduras, or mainly by the Raritan Islands first, uh, that's where um, the, um, um, the, the only group, well I may say the only, the group that I know of that were kept but never enslaved, uh, the what they call the Garifuna people, the Garifuna people, uh, were um, were were deposited there. They were originally from Saint well, Saint Vincent. They mixed with the Carib Indians, and anyway, they were they were deposited there. And, uh, and there's nothing but boulders, you know. It's rare. It was just it was just rocks and stuff like that. So they migrated from from the parts of Honduras up to uh, Belize, which is which is close by, down to uh, um, uh, Nicaragua. Um, um, Costa Rica, uh, Panama, uh, Venezuela, all down the coast, and these are mainly fish, f fisher, fish, fisher people, you know, people that they, they're fishermen, fisher, fisher people. Um, the only town that I know of that, have, that has a large uh, Garifuna or Garifuna uh, culture is a place in um, in Belize called uh, Georgetown, which is more in, in inward. Anyway, uh, as you may or may not know, the neocons had their way with uh, Honduras, and you know, it was a Anyway, a bunch of other stuff happened. This activist that Danny Glover and Cedric the Entertainer and, um, uh, are, are bringing, are, are bringing um, are going down to witness this other activist being sworn in as mayor to a town. Um, now they, this is a very important thing, okay? Because all these things that celebrities do with these tweets and stuff like that, you know, hashtag this, hashtag that, on activists that, boycott that, those are, those are passe. I mentioned that in another, in another, in another video. Um, but this thing of, of if you have some some cachet as an entertainer and you know you're solid or whatever have you, then you can you know you can do some activism, uh, not only in your neighborhood of course, but other places on, in the country uh, and also in the world. So this is a very important thing that that Cedric Entertainer and Danny Clever is doing. Okay, now um, the whole thing about this thing that that intrigues me is that um, I don't know how many people. Um, let me put it this way, um, I don't know how organized the, um, the Hollywood or that kind of community is now. Danny Glover is a long time activist, I mean, you know, long time. He comes from the Bay Area, you know, that's, you know, the Bay Area with the, with the Black Panthers, uh, not Black Panther the movie, but Black Panthers, the, the political party, Black Panther, political party, political party for self-defense was created. And, there's a, and in fact, that was the first uh, San Francisco State. Uh, college was the first when they had the, the student activists in the 60s. They're the ones that really started. I know Columbia gets all the prestige and Berkeley and something like that, but they're the ones that started it. And there's something in that line lineage is very important. Let me put it that way. Uh, the reason why I'm really intrigued uh, of the film fits is Black Panther is not only because of what it is, what it stands for, but also the director, Ryan Cooler, comes from that area. So for me, his lineage comes from that activist thing. And so, I mean, I, I want everything to happen for Black Panther only because the next movie he's supposed to be doing has to do with the Atlanta, um, the whole Atlanta thing with the, with the school system. Again, the neocons created this whole sort of way to fleece the school system or whatever have you. And, and a bunch of black people got caught up, or black teachers got caught up and, and prosecuted, whatever have you. But also, um, I remember that uh, 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 his next film, I think one of the films he has on his plate that he wants to do is about Mansa Musa, the, 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 the king of... Um, uh, Chief King of, of the Malian Empire, which is who to report it, the richest man the world has ever known. Okay, and by those, by that, by gold standards, not by you know this uh, whatever you know these other current billionaires or whatever they're doing. He had Richard and Rockefeller, more than people, right? So it's interesting that his mind is in that lineage, and 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 now I'm so that that's what intrigues me about this whole thing. But I'm also thinking about. African Americans, you know, or I would say a descendant of chattel slavery, 
uh, folks. We have a unique kind of thing in the world, you know. Um, uh, the, the, aside from the, the Kush warriors, you know, then they're, they're all they're, they're warriors, the Kush, ancient Kush, you know, uh, uh, what they call Upper Egypt or whatever it is, like that. They were the fiercest warrior, warriors ever. Yeah, fiercer than, than Shaka Zulu who gets the thing because of British and all the rest of the stuff and all the rest of these people were. Hannibal, no, no, the, the Kush people were, were, were the thing. But from that lineage, you know, African Americans or specifically um, uh, descendants of chattel slavery, we went through so much, we endured so much. It, it, uh, the, the, the fact that there, we're so under siege in all sectors, you know what I mean, is, 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 is something. If we go through this, it would be kind of interesting. But those of us who still have our sanity, who are not being caught up with all this, you know, whatever whatever's going on today, and still are what we call warriors, right? This is what we should be doing because realistically the only thing that, that, that the United States of North America exports is really, um, well, not military, but you know, but uh, think of it as money, you know, or, or you know, uh, gaming the, the economic system worldwide and also expertise. So I'm trying to say the expertise that the, that the descendants of chattel slavery have has to do with resistance, has to do with uh, I, I, I want to say revolution, but a more and more an evolutionary revol revolution, you know? Um, and so I, if, if you really are a descendant of child slavery, you owe it to not be speaking up for old. The way you speak up for everybody else is by supporting them as they support you. Supporting them as they support you. A quid pro pro, as they say. In other words, if I'm going to help out uh, a group of a group of people that's coming to the United States, they have to help me out. If I'm gonna help out, whatever they have to help me out. But they, but 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 um, um, I'm gonna end this here. But I just wanna say one thing. I had a very interesting experience because of my uh, association in my time with with uh, WBAI Radio, the Pacifica Radio Station uh, in New York. Uh, we had a, a um, uh, we had these these, I don't know, seminars, whatever, these gatherings every once in a while, every once in a blue moon. And one of the things they had there, they wanted to deal with racism in the morning and then they wanted to deal with gender issues and I'm not sure, but I think uh, um, sexuality issues in the afternoon. There's just, just a whole day session. And so we had this whole morning thing. And then in the afternoon, they, they, they kept on going like the women. Everybody was saying, just like, just like black people, just like black people, black, 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 black. And I'm going, and at some particular point, I said, Excuse me, you know, this is after the thing. I said, if everything is, is just like black people, if this is a, a house of cards just like black people, shouldn't we liberate or deal with the black circumstance first and then everything else would follow? Let that sink in. Think about it. So all these people that want their rights, this and their rights, that, and they say just like civil rights movement, just like this or just like whatever have you. Well, then if you're going to say that, if, you, if that's going to be your position, you know, I just read somewhere that Planned Parenthood basically to tell white women, look, hey, black black women are the, the backbone of of, of, of of what's going on. So we should support them more. You know, it makes sense, right? So what I'm trying to say, on this planet, on this planet, the descendants of chattel slavery are the most important warriors that that are on this planet right now. Let that sink in the most important because we have the expertise. We have the expertise for liberation of the downtrodden, liberation of the planet. Just an opinion from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.